वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टूडे वीडियो इज अबाउट हाउ टू मेक अ कस्टमाइज एपिस कंट्रोल लाइक पबजी विद सम फीचर लाइक ड्रैग बटन चेंज साइज ऑफ बटन एंड चेंज ट्रांसपेरेंसी ऑफ बटन एंड बटन रिमेन इन बाउंड आफ्टर चेंजिंग द बटन सेटिंग इफ वी सेव एंड अगेन प्ले एंड क्लिक ऑन लोड बटन द लास्ट सेटिंग व्हिच वी सेव विल बी अपीयर एंड इफ वी क्लिक ऑन द सेट बटन द बटन बैक टू इट्स डिफॉल्ट पोजीशन नाउ मेक दिस टाइप ऑफ कंट्रोल सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्रिएट इमेज एंड ऐड अ बैकग्राउंड ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड चेंज इट्स कलर टू अ ब्लैक नाउ डुप्लीकेट इट एंड असाइन द ओरिजिनल बटन यूआई एंड चेंज इट्स कलर टू अ वाइट एंड मेक अ सम अदर बटन्स लाइक दिस इफ यू वांट टू डाउनलोड दिस बटन subscribe my channel and write your email in comment section and finally i am able to make a control like pubg so for transparent background select ui add a component canvas group and change the value of alpha by changing the value of alpha we increase and decrease the transparency of back and if we scale this ui it scale only its background for scaling the internal child select and change its center to a stretch mode now if we scale the background it still run as to scale with ui now select the camera and change its background to solid color and change its color to maybe not and create a script for buttons name as ui drag and open it into a visual studio for writing some lines about dragging a button so first of all create public void on drag function for dragging a button and change name to on drag and add a header file using unity engine dot event system and get the input right pointer event data and rename as event data which is by default input and call this function right i drag handler it's a syntax if we are not right here this i drag handler then on drag function not work so now change the position button set transform dot position equal to event data dot position just drag the button with mouse now go and select button and add the script on button now go and play if we select button and drag it's moving with mouse here is a problem if we drag the button to a corner of the screen the button go out of screen and if we select an other resolution the button out of bound now return to again with your studio add a vector to pose it's a current position of button name as current pose and add a vector to new position now go to void function update function and set current position rack transform utility dot world to screen point and set new camera from and set the world point transform dot position it is run the current position of button in world and set the current position dot x clamp current position and set the minimum value zero and the maximum value by the file screen dot width and copy it and paste for current pose dot y and change the x to y and screen width to height now change this world position to screen point so select rect transform utility dot screen point to world point in rectangle for set getting the rect transform of button set rect transform name as tr and tr equal to get component rect transform now set the rect transform value to tr and screen point is current position set write the current position and the new camera and for getting the output write out new position and go and try transform dot position equal to new position now save this script go back to unity editor and select jump button and add script now play and if we drag button it's main half of bound but half of his part is out of bound for setting this return to a visual studio and write the minimum value to tr rect transform dot side delta dot x 
psi delta dot x is the width and y is the height so half it and half of it minus from skin dot width now similar as for y now save it and return to unity editor go and play and if we drag the button to corner it's main inbound and button remain bound for any type of resolution so now pause the play mode and create a ui customizer for buttons so now go and create ui customizer i have already created now go and create a ui customizer script name as ui customizer and open it into a visual studio and add public variable slider for adding a slider add header file using unity engine.ui and set the name size and add public text for size text and similar for transparency copy it and paste and change the size to transparency and text to transparent text now go to update function at size dot text dot text equal to size dot value multiply hundred because we turning into percentage so add percent now copy this line and paste and for transparent text change to transparency dot value now return to unity editor add the ui customize script to a main parent and add the transparency slider and trans scale slider and assign their text i have created this text on the top of the slider so now select ui customizer and assign this text now go and play and if we change the value of slider it's turning the value into points so we need the value into integer now for setting this value to integer go to unit editor select the whole flow text and change the data type into integer now similar as for transparency value now save and if we play and change the value of slider it's turning the value into integer now select this slider and set its minimum value i have set the minimum value to 0.1 and maximum value 1 and for scale minimum value is 0.1 and maximum 2.5 now set ui drag button in ui customizer name as slack button now go to ui drag and add a ui customizer name as ui and ui equal to get component in parent name ui customizer it's get component in parent because we add on parent object now add a public void function name as set size and transparency it's taking a two our input float size and float transparency for setting this now add public vector to default size and default position go back to function for setting the size set rag transform dot size delta equal to default size multiply by size and for transparency get component canvas group dot alpha equal to transparency now for setting the child transparency go for each var name as g in get component in children's name as canvas groups and change their alpha value to with transparency now add another function name as public void on pointer down and input pointer event data name as event data now call this function to write i point down handler now go and set the value so it's first of all change its input dot mouse position because it's lagging now go and set ui select button equal to this now and set function in ui customizer public void set button size for set button data as float size and float transparency this function for setting the ui button its value to ui customizer menu for setting this select size slider name size dot value equal to size and transparency back dot value equal to transparency now go to ui drag and set the ui 
set button data and set default size dot x divided by size delta dot x and transparency get component can fill group dot alpha now change this value a uh, default size dot x later the size delta dot x save it and go back to ui customizer and if select button then this select button dot set scale and size and the value is size dot value and transparency dot value its value of slider now select all button and add a canvas group component canvas group and add the ui drag script now set the default size height and width so select button and assign its width its width is 50 copy and paste default size x and y now select the children and add canvas group component go and play and select any button now we can change its size and also change its transparency so select any button and its value loaded into ui customizer menu so now we can easily change button position select any button and its value load on ui customizer menu and now we can easily increase and decrease their size and transparency now save section so go back to video studio public void function save data for saving their value goes player perfil set float and name as transform dot name is then the name of button and plus its size now set for size select upper size data and paste it to down now for transparency set transparency get component canvas group dot alpha and fourth position set transform dot x position set the transform dot archer position dot x and for y set the archer position dot y so now for loading the player perfect value so set size and transparency function it's take two input size and transparency so copy this player perfect value and change the set value to get float now remove this and set value to get float and setting position so go and set transform dot at archer position equal to new vector 2 and get this input which we saved in player purpose go and change the set float to get float and similar here to get float and remove this value now save this and add a public for reset function which is due to resetting the ui button so now go set size and transparency 1f1f which is the by default value and the archer position to default position now save this and go to ui customizer and get the ui drag buttons which is in the children so now get component in children ui drag and set public void save data function make save data function and set buttons dot for getting every button add a for each var b in buttons so b dot save data function now copy this and set for reset data for reset data set b dot set ui now return to unit editor and assign the default pose for every button copy and paste into default post x and default post y for every button similar now go to ui customize menu and set the save button data on click plus add a canvas ui customizer script and set the function to save data and for select reset button paste copy canvas and ui customized dot reset data now play you see we are not showing any ui 
so click on reset button and click on save button so saving its default value save in player perfect now again play you can see the button back to its original position which we saved last time so now we are going to disturb the button settings change their transparency increase and change their positions of every button it's increase its size now go and save and go back to play mode and gain internet play mode now you can see which we saved the setting last time so now create a load button go select exit button change its text to a load button and go to viva studio now copy this reset data function and paste here change the name to load data and change reset ui to load ui and save this script and go to ui drag skip copy this reset ui function and duplicate here and rename as load ui and go to start function copy this player perfect data and paste in function load ui and save this script and change the button name to load now set on click action select ui customizer and load data now play you can see it's a loaded last data which we say now reset this button setting and save now change this button setting and click on load button not save just click on load button you can see the last setting we save will be loaded so thanks for watching my video